Hello, everyone. My name is Gary Nelson. I'm the Cornell Local Roads Program Instructor for the Asphalt Paving Principles and Pavement Maintenance Workshops. Given the situation this year, we've decided to bring the workshops directly to you. We've taken individual chapters from the workshop manuals and kind of distilled and slimmed them down a bit to a few fundamental concepts that we feel are worth sharing. Then we pre prepared 10 to 15 minute videos highlighting the core concepts. Today's installment is titled Thin Wearing Courses. So let's get started. Okay, Thin Wearing Courses, Cornell Local Roads Program. And by thin, I mean less than an inch. I do mean thin. If you remember, our pavement maintenance definition is doing inexpensive repairs on good roads to keep them good. And that's certainly where thin overlays come in as opposed to more expensive rehabilitation or thick overlay processes. Quick overview of what we're gonna to do today. We're gonna to talk about the purpose of thin wearing courses. Then we're gonna talk about emulsion based and we're gonna highlight chip seal and microsurfacing. We'll show a few short one minute videos. Then we're gonna talk about hot mix asphalt based. Um, and we're gonna highlight Nova chip. And then we're gonna do a quick summary. As far as the purpose, certainly gonna seal and protect the pavement, you're covering it. You can improve skid resistance. Each DOT aggregate source or pit has a friction rating and you can certainly choose high friction either in um, fine or coarse aggregate. Restore oxidized surface, certainly. Rut fill, not all types. Microsurfacing and Nova chip can help you there. Um, so let's take a look at the emulsion-based products first. If you notice, we group sand seal and chip seal together. They're similar processes. You're dropping aggregate into a layer of emulsion that you sprayed on the ground, either sand or coarse aggregate. Slurry seal and microsurfacing are also similar. You mix fine aggregate with emulsion through a pug mill on site and then through a spreader box and a screed. Let's talk about the emulsified asphalts real quick first. A blend of water, emulsifying agent, and asphalt. And what we want to highlight here is the 55 to 75% asphalt. When you're done and the product is cured, you are left with true asphalt cement. And here's what happens. It'll come to you and it'll be kind of a brownish, even a almost like a reddish brown, about 160 degrees in the emulsified state. Within minutes, it's going to break. The water and asphalt are gonna separate. It'll revert back to the black color and then it'll cure. And that process can take a week or two depending on the weather and the situation at the time. Chip seal, let's talk about chip seal. We like this slide. First, the weather is very good. You've got a good asphalt spray. The spreader box is following right behind. There's aggregate trucks waiting, and you're doing it on a road that is still pretty decent, which is our pavement maintenance goal. As far as the process, you want to sweep before, and then you want to sweep the loose aggregate after rolling. So the process is sweep first, spray your oil, spread your stone. Roll it in with rubber tired rollers, of course, and then sweep again. We're not going to discuss how to calculate the application and board spread rate. We cover that in the workshop manual. Uh, we are going to talk about proper embedment, where you're looking at about 70%, as you can see here in the slide. And as far as aggregate, you certainly want clean aggregate, not dirty, and there's nothing wrong with before you haul to your stockpile, there's nothing wrong with going to the aggregate quarry or pit and talking to the superintendent or the quality control officer to see which aggregate you can get and stress the fact 
that you need clean aggregate for your process. So let's stop here and take a quick look at the process. Okay, here they are getting ready to go. I don't know if they're starting a new day or after lunch, but the uh, distributor truck with spray bars is ready in place. And here he goes. If you look carefully, you can certainly see the color. You can see the color difference on the fresh spray to the older. Aggregate trucks waiting. The spreader box comes right away. Two things here that we want to point out. A very nice even veil coming out of the chipper box. Very well maintained machine and the logistics. There's a distributor truck waiting. You can see this is a long road. I counted six aggregate trucks previously in the video and they have another distributor truck. These folks are ready to go and that they are. Nice even spray. Nice spread of aggregate. Other truck waiting, good weather. That's what you like to see, folks. Okay, let's get back to the slides. Okay. Microsurfacing. Um, again, slurry seal, one layer, straight emulsion, microsurfacing, two layers with polymer modified. There's a microsurfacing machine. Let's take a cutaway view. Here's your fine aggregate being conveyed to the pug mill. Calibrated oil coming into the pug mill. It's dropped into the spreader box where it's mixed up one or two more times and then laid out on the roadway. So let's take a quick look at a microsurfacing video. Okay. Okay, we're set to bring it up. Here it is. And here we go. In this case, they bring in aggregate trucks. They probably fill it with the loader. There's your oil coming in. You can see they're conveying the fine aggregate up into a receiving hopper. Can't see the actual pug mill, but it's back here somewhere. And then it drops into the spreader box. You can see the material sloshing around one final mix and the screed to even out the product. There's the color. You can see that reddish brownish color before it breaks, it'll soon turn to black. There you go. What it looks like. And here they come back with the second layer. Okay, there we go. All right, let's get back to the slides. Okay, a hot mix asphalt based thin wearing courses. Paver place surface treatment, more commonly called Nova chip, and thin 6.3 millimeter overlay. Two different products you'll see in a moment. Nova chip, we like this slide also. Once again, the weather is good, they're doing it the right time. The road is in decent shape and it's been maintained. You can see that. And there's the uh, Nova chip paver. Again, different paver than the than a normal paver. And we were going to do a video here, but this slide pretty much encapsulate what Nova Chip was all about. Instead of a normal chamber here for the mix to be in, it's wider. There's a spray here, and they're spraying a non-set polymer modified tack coat 
right in front of the product, right in front of the head of material. And the other thing you could see, it's kind of a coarse textured material. So that's the main um, component of Nova Chip is the tack coat being sprayed right in front. They're attempting to sort of glue it all down in one continuous layer. And there is a uh, shot of the texture. I've actually taken pictures like this. Um, there's your texture, your coarse texture. There's your tack coat. And this is probably a type A with a smaller 1A aggregate. Now, the 6.3 millimeter overlay is a different animal. It's much finer. You can see the texture here, but it's also laid very thin. Um, could be preference, or you could choose it for, for a various reason. And one of them could be this. As far as Nova chip, we did see that it can help in covering ruts up. And, and, and I mean shallow ruts, not deep ruts. So let's say you have a situation here where maybe you could get hydroplaning, or here, you can see these are shallow ruts. And, and Nova chip will take care of that. As far as the 6.3, well, let's say you have a road that's you know eight, 10 years old, it's still in halfway decent shape, but you wanna cover it. And I lifted this slide right from an article titled, Earlier Maintenance with Thin Layers Pays Off. And I think that kinda is a good way to end kinda how we started. You wanna get um, pavement maintenance is doing inexpensive repairs on good roads while they're still good. And that's kind of what we're showing here. So let's review. Thin wearing courses, they are multi-purpose, as we saw. You can reintroduce friction. You could cover up a oxidized surface. And you can certainly take care of some shallow ruts. There are a variety of types of methods. Emulsion-based products are mixed on site and hot mix asphalt based products are mixed off site at a plant and trucked to your operation. Okay, that's it. That's today's payment maintenance moment, thin wearing courses. Thank you.